वेलकम एवरी वन टू आवर चैनल मैथमेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सी एस आई आर यू जी सी नेट सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मैथमेटिकल साइंसेस द क्वेश्चन आई डी इज थ्री वन सिक्स एंड दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एबस्ट्रैक्ट एलजेब्रा क्वेश्चन नंबर इज दिस इज सिक्स यूनिट टू एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम पार्ट बी लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन लेट आर बी रीडिंग एंड एन बी द सेट ऑफ nilpotent elements that is n equal to all such x belongs to r such that x to the power n equal to 0 for some n belongs to n so clearly 0 belongs to zero element is a uh, element of this n it is nilpotent element then which of the following is true so clearly n is a non empty set then which of the following is true one says that n is an ideal in r option 2 says that n is never an ideal in r option 3 says that if r is non commutative n is not an ideal and option 4 uh says that if r is commutative then n is an ideal so now uh <clears throat> this is the result that says in option 4 if r is commutative then this set the set of all nilpotent elements in a ring forms an ideal so first we will prove this result for this so let us suppose that r is a commutative ring r is a commutative ring and also okay and n is a set of all nilpotent elements so to prove r is a ring if we take any two to prove n is an ideal if we take any two elements x y belongs to this n then this x minus y should be an element of n so x minus y whole to the power something should be zero for some that something should be a natural number so since xy belongs to n so we have x to the power m equal to 0 for some m belongs to n and also y to the power n equal to 0 for some n belongs to n so now let us calculate x minus y whole to the power m plus n that is just simply it will be a like binomial expansion because r is commutative so this will be m plus n sorry this will be x to the power m plus n then minus m plus n c1 x to the power m plus n minus 1 into y plus m plus n c2 x to the power m plus n minus 2 y square plus dot dot in this way it will be like m plus minus 1 whole to the power m m plus n c n x to the power m y to the power m Uh, this will be probably minus one whole to the power n probably, and then this is up to the last term will be minus one whole to the power this m plus n y to the power m plus n. So now this is very easy to see that this is x to the power m equal to zero. So x to the power m plus n means x to the power m into x to the power n. So zero into something will be zero. and by similar process all this term will be zero up to this x to the power m all such x to the power something will be zero because there are some x to the power m plus some r r is greater than zero and when it will be in this term x to the power m then r will be zero and it will be zero after that for Also here, y to the power n equal to zero. So after this term, 
we will get some y to the power n plus say k where k greater than 0 so all such term will be 0 so this is 0 so now as x minus y whole to the power n plus n equal to 0 and n plus n is a natural number so what we get we get x minus y belongs to n and then if we take any r belongs to r and x belongs to n so we are given that x to the power m equal to 0 for some m belongs to n and we have to prove that rx belongs to n so rx to the power something should be 0 and clearly rx to the power m will be equal to our r to the power m into x to the power m not into this is uh, multiplication in ring so the because r is commutative so this is r to the power m 0 this is 0 element so this will be 0 so we have rx belongs to n so clearly this n forms an ideal so now we prove that if r is commutative then n is an ideal so option 4 is the correct option and all other option will be not correct because this is a question from part b but we should prove that uh, all such options are not correct so clearly option 2 uh, will not be the correct option clearly because we already proved that if r is commutative then n is an ideal so n is never an ideal should be uh, should not be correct so this is not correct and then uh, see n is an ideal in r so this option is not correct we can give an example of a ring where this set n may not form an ideal if we take r equal to just the set of all 2 by 2 real matrices then uh, this n will be the set of all nilpotent matrices 2 by 2 nilpotent matrices and clearly this n will not form an ideal because if we take two elements from n one is say capital a equal to 0 1 0 0 and other is taken 0 0 1 0 this is easy to verify that a square and b square will be 0 so a b are elements of n and clearly this a minus b equal to in fact a plus b equal to 0 1 1 0 and uh, date a plus b will not be 0 so a plus b is not nilpotent so a plus b does not belong to n so this n does not form an ideal in fact does not form a sub ring so option 1 is not the correct option in general and for option 3 if we take a sub ring r1 of this given ring the set of all 2 by 2 real matrices we take r1 equal to the set of all upper triangular matrices so the set is of the form a b 0 c such that a b c belongs to r so it is very easy to see that let us uh, this we left for you as an exercise to see that this r1 will form a sub ring of r now for this ring what this sub ring which is a ring also r1 take the set n of all nilpotent elements so here clearly this set will be of this form 0 a 0 0 such that a belongs to r this is also we left for you as an exercise that the set n of nilpotent elements in this ring r1 is of the form like this just take an element n like a b 0 c and take a to the power a n equal to 0 capital a equal to a b 0 c and capi capital a to the power n equal to 0 will imply that your a and c will be 0 so only this b can be no, uh, non zero so all such elements are of the form 0 a 0 0 now this is also easy to see that this set form an ideal because if we take to any take two elements from n like 0 a 
जीरो 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 बी जीरो जीरो देन दिस इज इजी टू सी दैट दिस सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑन दिस वी गेट जीरो ए माइनस बी रो ए ए माइनस बी जीरो जीरो व्हिच इज एन एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस एन एंड आल्सो इफ वी टेक एनी आर एनी 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 एलिमेंट से कैपिटल एक्स व्हिच इज फ्रॉम दिस रिंग आर वन दैट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ए बी जीरो सी and also if we take an element a belongs to this n that is of the form 0 say a1 0 0 then also by after multiplication x a will of the form this 0 something non zero element may be 0 0 so it will belong to n so this n will form an ideal so so here see r1 is clearly non commutative uh, ring but n also uh, forms an ideal so if r is non commutative n may be an ideal so this option is not the correct option so all option 1 2 3 are not the correct options and option 4 is the only correct option so this is the solution of this problem